signpost village here in Watson. So we got to stop, right? <laughs> Check this stuff out. All right, Watson Lake. Supposedly the story is that the guy um, Now the story goes there was a soldier who in World War II when they were building this war, uh, road uh, he posted his name on a signpost and then it just ended up turning into this where everybody from all over the place uh, <laughs> comes and leaves a sign I know, and I got like 10 extra license plates in my uh, garage. I could have brought one. So if you have a thing, bring it. This place just goes on and on and on. All around. Let me just kind of give you a scope of it. <laughs> it's grown into a thing. Day 10 is shaping up much better than the last few days, where it's been uh, smoky and yucky. It is crystal clear today, with a few puffy clouds, as we left out of Watson Lake. Uh, stopped at Get Gas at this little station just back there. Uh, the guy was a character man, put the sticker up on his wall. Class. It's a nice guy, you know, good little stop. Man, the air is crisp and cool. It is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is just going to be a nice day. I'm not sure. I think the temperature is going to climb back up to the 80s again, but we are heading uh, towards White Horse and back into America and Alaska. We uh, hopefully will be up at the uh, Brito Bay in about four days, maybe five, depends on road conditions and stuff. But we're making the most time we can on these roads. Teslin River. This is a high bridge and a windy road.
right, children. The road show is back on. I can't see a damn thing. Glass is fogged up. Forgot to put the anti-fog on them again. It is uh, 36 degrees. Uh, leave at Haynes Junction today. It is uh, beautiful. Set my butt off getting all my gear on, but um, that's not going to last long. But uh, look at that range out there. That's going to be a great day. All right. The bike started incredibly rough. Incredibly rough. But not like the cold. Glad I brought my battery pack. Oh. Alright, but onward we go. I sure carved this sucker out, eh? That breeze is stiff coming over there. That is a stiff breeze. Snakies. Oh, Holding on spirit life. Woohoo! Yeah, so it's slow down, you know. Holy macaroni. Holy shit. That wind coming from over there is insane. And it's gotta be a good 50 mile an hour wind. I am just doing everything I can to keep this baby straight. Now I gotta turn. Let the wind turn you. I'm leaning left. They turn right. This section after Destruction Bay was a little tricky. We had just a bunch of loose gravel on top. But on the way home, coming through here was just an absolute nightmare. It was four to six inches of loosely, freshly laid gravel on top of this hard pack. And it was just insane to ride on. I mean, I'm riding in the sand in Florida, and this was worse by far. We heard about one rider going down when we got to the next hotel on the way back. He had to be light flighted out of here. Um, haven't heard anything else, but I know it's very dangerous, it was very sketchy. Everybody we talked to said this was one of the more sketchier parts, and this was people who rode the Dalton Highway. Dip. Oh, oh, this is rough. A little rougher than the other sections. Oh, right, right, I'm in a rut. Yeah. Ugh. She jarred something loose there. I don't know, I just got caught in a ruddy loose section, you know. Well, this will be the next four days anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to America. It's like they had a whole village for them, the border workers there. The whole little town for the border workers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're in the middle of BFE out here, man. For sure. Got a 
beaver hunt there or something. Okay, yeah, it's going slow enough. Need to stand, it's just more comfortable. Slippery at the top there. Crap, there's some ice down there. Iceberg, Captain! After all the construction, a couple more bridges, and another 100 miles or so, we made it to Delta Junction, which is the official end of the Alcan Highway. And started heading up towards Fairbanks and got to see the pipeline for the first time. It'll be our companion on the next journey for sure. Lucky enough for us, we found a good little hotel that let us have a place to wash our bikes. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Click that like and subscribe.